Today I'm going to be showing you how to take apart a two and a half inch Western Digital My Passport drive. This particular model is a 500 gigabyte drive. Uh, model number on this guy is uh, WD5000ME-01. It's the newer style that has uh, rounded edges on two sides and more square edges on the other two edges. Um, the trick to getting this guy apart is a little bit of edge cracking and the rest is pretty simple. Uh, there's no screws at all on the device so pretty much you're just going to be popping the edges around uh, with your fingernail. Um, I would recommend just doing that just enough to get it um, so that you can get your fingernail in there and then using um, an old credit card or something like that to um, help you separate the edges. If you're in the habit of taking things apart like I am, it's always good to have an old credit card laying around for things like that because otherwise you end up really hurting your fingers. Um, this one's kind of a tough cookie to crack. At first it, it seems like you might get it apart by pulling on the edges and that's partially true. Um, what you want to do is after you get the edges partially separated with your fingernail, slip the card in there and then slide it around to the front of the drive. Um, I, de I define the front as the side that has the two curved edges. Um, I'll be calling that the front of the drive. Okay. Um, once you've popped the seal on the front, um, there's a um, top face and a bottom face. The top is uh, the side with the WD logo on it and then the bottom would be the side with the serial number. So what I've done is just pop the edge, um, separated it uh, from the top case and you'll notice that this front is one solid piece of plastic that goes all the way around um, from the left side of the drive to the right side of the drive and on this side you have a little USB connector that's the only connector on the drive at all so what you'll do is you'll after you've broken the seal so to speak on this front edge um, by sliding the card into that groove. Then you will use your finger um, in this little indentation here and pull that whole single edge piece um, in the direction of the front that I mentioned earlier. So it takes a little work. It's a little hard going. There's some really good um, solid plastic rails that are in there that this piece actually slides in on which you'll see once you get it apart but there it goes just slides out like that if you look in the top case you'll see um, there's little plastic railings in there those are the ones that I was referring to <coughs> this inner housing here just pulls right off. You got four rubber shock absorbers that come right off. Um, there's an aluminum shield comes right off. And then if you need to remove the USB controller from the bottom of the drive you can do that as well. The drive itself as you can see is just a Western, Giga Western Digital 500 gigabyte uh, WD Scorpio Blue Drive. Um, the Western Digital Scorpio Blue Drives are low voltage um, high performance drives. So they're not 7200 RPM. These ones are only 5400 but they're still pretty good drives. I'm personally going to be taking this one out and putting it in a laptop that already has a 5400 RPM drive. Um, <clears throat> the laptop that I've got only has 160 gigs of space and I'm pretty much using it all up. 
Um, this 500 gig will definitely help me out with that. Um, so this little controller actually just pulls right off the bottom. If you have a drive that says that it's a unrecognized USB device, the fault of the drive is not the drive itself. This is probably going to be the fault of this little guy right here, which is the USB controller. They've made it pretty small and compact. This is probably the smallest I've ever seen them. And it's really nice that it's a SATA interface too because that means this is compatible with um, a lot of the newer drives. You'll find other ones out there that are um, IDE, which is the older interface, and it's getting harder to find IDE drives anymore, so especially ones that are half a terabyte like this one. So that's pretty much it. Uh, standard disclaimer applies. Um, you probably want to use anti-static protection when you're doing this. I didn't because this is my desk and it's my risk and I understand the, the risk in that. Um, if you're doing this, you probably want to be using an anti-static wrist strap and anti-static dissipative map.